I just want to make this video to share testimony with you. Um, I was always into doing art and writing music and stuff since I was a little kid. Those are some of the gifts God gave me. I mean, now looking back, I see that it was all God, you know. <clears throat> but um, after I became a believer in the Messiah, Jesus, um, he started speaking to me in images and songs. And I had to uh, tell you guys this. It's very, very interesting and very, very amazing. Um, this is over five years ago after I became a believer in the Messiah. Um, I was asleep on the couch and he woke me up in the wee hours of the morning with this image very, very clearly in my mind. I mean, he literally woke me up. I jumped up off the couch because this had never happened to me ever until after I became a believer. And so this was the image he gave me and I painted it. Although I think that he would want me to make make it a photograph of it, like a real, you know, photograph of this image. I just never, I don't live near the ocean. I guess if you know how to do Photoshop, you could do it. But he's basically saying that there's people drowning spiritually all around us. They're drowning. And we have the lifesaver, which is Jesus, Yahusha. He is the lifesaver. And these people don't even realize they're drowning. They're spiritually dying all around us. And so he's just waiting for them to cry out to him or for us to come into their lives and preach the gospel to them and bring the good news to them that Jesus can save them from their sins and from this evil wicked world so yeah I just wanted to share this image with you guys this testimony because like I, like I said my entire life I did art and music but never ever did I get woken up with an image until after I repented of my sins and believed in Jesus and then he started speaking to me with images he does it rarely it's very, very special when he does it. And uh, interestingly enough, I used to go to this church and this woman told me, oh, God told me he, he wants to use you to do art. He wants you to start painting again, like I used to in high school, but I kind of blew her off, but then he gave me this image. He's actually given me one other image. That's a, that's interesting. I'll tell you guys what it was. It was uh, I was falling asleep on the couch and he gave me an image of a, a dirty truck, a dirty windows, like the back side of the window. You know how people will like, write on people's windows wash me but this window said Jesus wash me and then I woke up and I started kind of laughing to myself because I thought it was kind of interesting but yeah this is uh I never did anything with the image you gave me about the Jesus wash me but this one I painted but it's been sitting in my closet for like over five years and I just figured like I need to shine a light and share this testimony and also to encourage you guys to let you guys know that everything you say is so powerful you might not think it, it matters but everything you say matters so much even just telling somebody Jesus loves you like that can make a huge ripple effect and totally change somebody's life there's people all around us that never heard the, the gospel and we have the power to save them through our words through the Holy Spirit he sends us as his messengers into this dying world to share the good news to repent of sin because he will forgive them of sins and save them from evil and show them the truth and Jesus said, I am the life and the resurrection. Anyone who believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And actually, like a week after I got this painting, um, I was at this open mic. And the man on stage started singing about people drowning all around us. So I was like, oh my gosh, confirmation, right? And I, I ran up to the stage afterwards and I was like, hey, do you believe do you believe in Jesus? And he's like, I don't believe in God. But I was like, yeah, well, he believes in you. <laughs> and then I told him the story about this painting and everything and he probably thought I was a little weird at the time but you know I believe nothing is an accident I'm pretty sure and that guy thought about what I said and who knows what's going what's going on now I mean God probably revealed himself to that guy he, he probably thought about that night so yeah I just want to encourage you guys that Jesus is the life and he is the lifesaver and there's people all around us that, that need the truth.